Hello and welcome back to Rory's Workshop. Today we're going to be working on the Ferguson. Again. So I'll call this episode, episode 6B. Continuation. Um, so yesterday we went down the field, we did a bit harrowing. Everything was going okay, uh, until naturally the petrol TVO stopped. Um, I'm going to put a bit more petrol in the TVO mixture to try and richen it up. Um, but I noticed that we had quite a weak spark on it. So I'm going to, um, today we're going to have a look. We're going to check everything in the rotor cap, whip out all the spark plugs, gap them. And I think it was quite a weak spark. So first of all, I'm going to change the coil just to make sure it isn't that. Um, naturally, I'll bring you along the way. Uh, and hopefully between us, we'll learn something. Probably how not to electrocute yourself. That'd be handy, wouldn't it? But, hey, if it happens, it happens. So, uh, yeah, well, let's make, a, let's make a start, shall we? So, something a bit like that. Um, so, I've drained the fuel out, so the car has more fuel in it, so we can motor it over and it won't run. Um, which is what I wanted. But, yeah, I think um, we'll have a look. The spark plugs are the, what's, what's the main thing, so I've got a paint marker actually. Mark up the HT leads because you don't want to get them wrong. Well, that'd be a bit embarrassing, wouldn't it? What? I have a spark plug kit from um, Halford. They're very, very good. I was a bit dubious about the sort of bendy neck ratchet but actually it's it works really well and i'll try not to move the there we go something like that um yeah it works it does work surprisingly well But apart from that, it works really well, it, it pulled really well. That's looking okay. We'll check the gap. Um, I'll have a quick look at the manual. Bundy Bear's Shed, I'll put a link in the description as I normally do. They've got the complete um, Ferguson manual, the original one, in the um, online. So you can, you can go online and you can quickly check and read up on anything that you want to do, whether it be spark plug gap like I'm doing, or we'll do the contacts a bit later on. Uh, let's put it to thirty. Zero three zero. Oh, this is wildly over. Calibrated tap. Spark plug looks good. The electrode is. Is nice and square there's no chips missing a little bit oily but nothing untoward is what I wouldn't expect from something I thought the electrode was loose there oh it is oh brilliant so this will need a new set of spark plugs because this one if I can bring it in close the ceramic center has come off and i can only assume that's really bad because the spark will end up down in here somewhere not up here where i want it Ugh. let's clean up these connectors a bit and A bit corroded. This one's cracked. Look, so it looks like a new set of leads as well. Ah, this tractor's getting more than better. Uncouth way to do it. But...
Yeah, it doesn't look too great, and this one's snap it, so you don't... I've got the other piece here. Um, but I suspect it'll it'll hold for, for what we need to do. Woo! So I've got some light. You see the contacts are just open. I'm going to measure that, make sure that it is to the correct setting. Um, and then yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. I might change the coil as I've, <clears throat> I've got a couple of coils here. Um, one's a Land Rover one, one's I think a Fergie one actually. Uh, but I know the Land Rover one's all right. I've, it's one that I've changed out on the Land Rover. Um, so I'll chuck that one in and we'll see where we go. I'll be back in a minute. So I have to do some quick research. Um, these ones that I have, I can use, which is great. So there's no risk of me shattering all the ceramic um, electrode. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw these ones in. I'll take my hat off. Uh, find my feeling edges. I put them back. No. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll order a. You can get a um, Mayhill tractor sell a. Can you see me? Uh, Mayhill tractor. There we go. Um, Mayhill tractor sell a tune-up kit, so you can get everything that you need. Perfect. Um, it's like points condenser and and everything. New HT leads, cap, uh, roll cap, roll arm, and all that sort of good stuff. So I'll uh, <laughs> I'll give them a call um, tomorrow, and hopefully that'll be here before the end of the week. But at the moment. This will be fine for just to get us out the out of the poop. So, um, what I've done is I've taken the points totally out. I've cleaned them up. I've cleaned them up with the file so they're nice and smooth. And now I've got to set them. I've got to set the depth. Uh, and it's between, um, well, it's 12 thousandths. Oh, there's 10. Uh, there we go. There we go. So it's 0.3 mil. Um, and now uh, what I'll do is I'll jam that in there so you can see the the point is right on the top of the cam and that's about as wide as it goes and that's where we want to set it we want to set it when it's maximum open maximum lift we'll set the points and then we'll close it all up rebuild it clean everything up because I'm gonna inside the cap the cap is okay it's not too bad I'll clean that up with a bit of emery paper the carbon in the center is totally fine um, that in there could probably do with brightening up a bit and then we'll go from there So I'll leave this to run and you can you can watch me and, and I'll edit it really badly
We put a new coil in it and change all the sparkles. Have you seen this before? The the ceramic electrode, the shroud has come off. It's loose. It's happened on two of these plugs. Yeah. Well, that's it. so. I've just put four new plugs in. Well, four Land Rover plugs, and um, to see what's going on. Well, I reckon that because if the bloody sparks happening right up in top of the bloody mm. thing, it's they bring up the walls again. Yeah, clearance. Yeah, yeah, it was. It never worth, never not worth doing it. At least you can eliminate certain things. Yeah, I don't think it's as good for motion to actually eliminate the things. <laughs> yeah. Have a look at the spark. Because the spark this morning, when I checked it, it was all right. Well, we'll have a look then. It's very bright there. Yeah, that's massive. That's far bigger than what it was this morning. So now you can see behind me that the tractor is all back into one piece, running with its new spark plugs. And all the new parts that came from Mayhill Tractor. So very big thank you to them. Uh, and, and for them for sorting us out during this, uh, this little series that we've had going. A huge thank you to Bundy Bears, to Lance, for his, his videos have really helped me. So I'm hoping that with you watching mine, and you can watch his as well. Because um, he's uh, just a font of knowledge, really. Um, don't worry, the Fergie's not going to be hiding from the channel. Uh, I've got a three for a plow for him. I've got some wheel weights to go on the nose and we still do use him around the bazaars At the moment he's got his tow bar on because we use it round uh, Toy waters you've probably seen in the past But a, a few of you have asked to see uh, Him working and, and doing a bit of work around the bazaars. So at the end is going to be a short clip of me harrowing uh, down an art sort of new allotment I will get out and I will I'd film a bit more of him working, especially when the ploughing matches start coming round again. I'd like to get out with the three for a plough and, and get it back into the ground, and because I quite enjoy that sort of thing. But to that end, thanks very much for watching throughout the series. Um, do think about the subscribing and the liking and everything, and uh, I hope to catch up with you all very soon. Stay safe out there. Take care. Bye now.